Yeah, Denisha, you can call the roll at any time you're, you're ready. Uh, yes, Chairman. Um, I'll begin with Norman Boyd. Here. Roger Folsom. Here. Russell Crutchfield. Present. Anthony Williamson. Here. Russ Childers. Rush Childers. I see you, Mr. Childers. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, I'm here. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Cynthia Rucker. I'm here. Nelva Lee. Here. David Cruz. Here. Kenneth Davis. Here. Chairman, that concludes my roll call. Thank you, Denisha, and thank you to the board members. We have 100% participation today. We have a, uh, a, a fairly brief agenda to cover uh, with uh, one item to consider to, for final adoption that we'll be asked to, uh, to vote on. Um, and welcome you here and call the meeting to order. And the first thing on the agenda, I'll ask our secretary, Russell Crutchfield, if he has uh, read the minutes of the October 14 meeting. And if it, those are in order, would he recommend those for approval? Well, good morning, Mr. Uh, Chairman and members of the board. I have read, reviewed, and uh, the, the board meeting minutes for October 14th, 2021. I found them to be correct and in order, and I recommend approval for the October 14th, 2021 board meeting minutes has been recommended for approval for the minutes of the October 14 meeting. Is there a second to that? Russ Childers seconds. Mr. Childers has seconded that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Hearing none, the minutes are approved. And thank you, uh, Russell, for that uh, report. My opening comments uh, this morning will also be brief, but just for informing the board that with our two new members uh, on the board allowed us to uh, uh, add to our uh, committees. And uh, Dr. Lee has accepted the uh, appointment to the audit committee uh, that's chaired by Mr. Childers. And um, uh, Cynthia Rucker has uh, accepted the uh, position on the care management committee chaired by Anthony Williamson. So we uh, appreciate their uh, willingness to serve in, in those uh, important committee capacities. With that, uh, again, welcome all of you here today and uh, we'll move from there into the uh, commissioner's report. So Commissioner Doggo, would you please give us your report? Good morning, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and thank you to all the board members for being with us today, but also your flexibility on the meeting date this month as we kind of juggled around a state holiday last week. Appreciate that flexibility. A um, couple of staffing updates for you first, and then I'll share a couple other business related items with you. We are welcoming some new um, staff members with us this month. Um, Kevin Stanford joins us as our chief um, compliance and technology officer currently um, as we prepare for uh, Joe Hood's possible retirement later this year, although we may convince him to stay a little longer. Um, Kevin joins us with over 15 years of state experience, uh, most recently with the Georgia Technology Authority. Uh, and also on his second or third day, I believe, is Brian Lipton, um, as a senior policy advisor working in my office, joins us from the Georgia Student Finance Commission, where he was budget director and also previously of um, the Office of Planning and Budget. So we're happy to have them join us. Um, we do have a fair number of vacancies in the agency and some other changes taking place that we're, you'll hear more announcements and folks coming and going, um, looking at some potential restructuring in finance. And many of you may know that Rachel King, our general counsel, departed the agency last week. Um, we wish her nothing but the best, but she took a really amazing opportunity to work um, as the chief compliance officer at CHOA. So we are nothing but excited um, to see her go on and do great things and are actively recruiting for um, that role, as well as several others. Um, I believe we've hired a um, deputy director in the healthcare facility regulation division that we're hoping will be able to join us on December the 1st, coming with us or coming to us from the state of Illinois, where he did similar work and has a lot of background in long term care survey and quality work. So we're very excited about those announcements. A couple of uh, employee milestones. I always like to recognize our folks that are hitting um, employee service milestones. Uh, 
Michael Bledsoe, Sammy Foster, and Allison Roberson are celebrating five years with the state. Pamela Gordon, David Stone, and Leslie Vons are celebrating 15 years of state service with us this month. And Jill Crump and Murthia Olivia, Olivia Hall are celebrating 25 years of state service. So we're super, super grateful for them being with us at DCH and also their overall contributions to the state. Um, we really couldn't do it without uh, the dedicated employees that work for us. A um, couple of other updates for you. We have just um, expanded the scope of an existing contract um, with one of our vendors as we continue to focus on contract management oversight and, and really pushing quality and outcomes. We've engaged um, this vendor to do a little additional work for us in doing some contract management and oversight and, and, and working through some reports and then standing those up against performance guarantees in our contracts to ensure that um, uh, all parties are kind of meeting the stated um, goals of those contracts from an outcomes perspective. So look forward to getting that work underway. And then we're also engaging with some work. I know you've probably heard me folk, uh, talk previously about um, one of my big focus areas will be internal performance of the agency. And, and if we have the right stated goals and KPIs in place and to ensure that we're doing the work that we need to do to support our overall mission of improving access and outcomes uh, to healthcare in Georgia. And so we've asked Carl Vincent um, to, to engage in some work with us on really creating the right KPIs to focus on moving the needle in a couple of specific ways and then creating really an overall cadence of accountability and, and um, as well as transparency um, within the agency and look forward to getting that started with Carl, the Carl Benson team in the next couple of weeks. And so we'll continue to share updates as that work progresses. But happy to answer any questions from the board, Mr. Chairman, but that would conclude my report. Any questions, comments from the board, please, for the commissioner? Thank you for that update, Commissioner, and we'll look forward to your evolving into your uh, KPIs and, and uh, we'll look forward to, I'm sure you'll update us on, as, as that progresses. Absolutely. Thank you very much. With that, we'll, we'll move on to the uh, item that we are, will consider today, be asked to consider for final adoption, and I'll ask uh, Nigel Lang, or Deputy Inspector General, to uh, make that presentation. We've all received the materials in advance, but um, we will uh, turn it over now to Nigel. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Commissioner Noggle, and good morning, members of the board. Um, today, I'm here with you to present for final adoption, the Georgia Caregiver Registry Rule. Uh, it's to comply with the provisions of Senate Bill 406 from the 2018 legislative session, which allows DCH to create and maintain the Georgia Caregiver Registry. The law became effective on October the 1st of 2019. The Caregiver Registry is known within DCH and outwardly facing by its working title, the Georgia Caregiver Portal. The purpose of the portal is to allow family employers who are relatives or guardians of elderly persons residing within Georgia to obtain employment eligibility determinations in the same manner as those currently working in licensed facilities. The caregiver portal is not used by licensed facilities. They have their own um, uh, registry, the criminal, Georgia Criminal History Check System or G-Checks. This is separate and independent of that. While the use of the uh, portal is voluntary, there is a fee associated with using the portal in the amount of $51.50 per background check. A public hearing for the rule was held on October the 13th, 2021 at 10 a.m. via WebEx. Written comments were due by 5 p.m. on October the 15th. No public comments were received. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll gladly entertain any questions at this point. Otherwise, I respectfully request your final adoption of the Georgia Caregiver Registry. Are there questions or comments from, from the board, please? Hearing none, as of I understand the summary that has and in our process, we, we've gone out for public comment uh, following our initial adoption of the previous meeting, and the none were received from the from the public, and so you're back to ask for a final adoption. And as I understand the write-up, there is no cost to the involved with this regulation change. So. There's there's no cost to the agency. The only costs involved are to the user of the portal in the amount of $51.50 per check. Understand, thank you. Um, 
Any other questions, comments? Hearing none, is there a motion for approval for final adoption, please? Roger Folsom, motion for final adoption, Mr. Chairman. Now, Mr. Folsom has made the motion for final adoption. Is there a second? There's a second. second. Cynthia Rucker. Yes, uh, Dr. Rucker has made the uh, motion to second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Hearing none, it is approved, and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. With that, that concludes um, the uh, formal uh, items on our agenda today at our very brief meeting. Again, thank all of you for being here. Is there any new business? Anyone know of any new business or any closing comments that need to be made at this time? Hearing none, uh, our next meeting will be held on December 9th, uh, our monthly meeting. And uh, in, in adjournment, I like to pass along the wishes that we all uh, enjoy a uh, happy and, and uh, rewarding Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you very much and look forward to uh, uh, our December meeting. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.